Only one thing you should know to fix diabetes today. Listen up. Diabetes is a complicated condition, but at the end of the day, it will all come down to one simple thing, sugar. Or is it? If it was that simple, we should have eradicated diabetes, right? Just get rid of sugar and boom, no diabetes. Well, there may be, or this may be the case for a few people, but it's not the case for most people. Also, most people achieve success short term and they brag about it, but they fail to maintain that sugar and carb free diet, like say 20, 30 years. Just because someone was able to jump five feet high does not mean everybody can, right? So I'm here to tell you how to jump one to two feet by understanding the physics and your body and staying up there instead of telling you try to jump five feet and only a few of you achieve and get some results and the rest of you fail miserably. Get it? Have you downloaded the SugarMD app yet? If not, you are missing out on some great resources for managing your diabetes. Our team of experts offer free coaching via app texting so you can get answers to all of your diet and diabetes related questions. Plus, using the app daily will help you stay on track and help make healthy choices. So, download the app today. Start living your best life. Remember to subscribe to our newsletter for weekly educational emails as well. Yes, too much sugar in your diet can cause blood sugar glucose levels to become dangerously high. We know that. That leads to diabetes eventually. But how? How come some people eat all sugar they want and they never get diabetes? And why do some people get diabetes at age 30 and others get it at 60 or even at 80 with the same lifestyle and diet? When you consume too much carb, when I say too much carb, I mean carbs you don't need. That brings up the question, do we need carbs? Well, that depends. Carbs are the fastest energy source. Think carbs like power or electricity in your house. Is it essential for your life? Not really. But is it the fastest source of energy for your house, for your utilities? Right? So you use it. You can use gas lamps, which is more romantic. You don't need TV. You don't need YouTube. You still use it. Why? Because it is easy and quick information source. You don't have to go to the library and become a bookworm. Carbs are the same way. Like everything in life, if you have too much of it, it will be hazardous to your health. Think like electric surge. That can happen when power goes off sometimes. They cause the power goes off and comes back on. Sometimes there's a surge. That is why we have surge protectors in our house to prevent electronics getting fried, right? So every time you eat carb and you do not burn them with activity, your body has a surge protection, which is turning them into fat. Well, it does sound like a good thing. And it is a good thing. What if food was not available all the time and you had to fast for three days until your next meal, right? You better eat your carbs now and store it as fat, right? Well, let me tell you, God created your body beautifully. So nothing wrong with the system. But if you make eating carbs with every meal and excessively, like three times a day, you will end up getting fat. So what's wrong with little fat? Well, chubby people are kind of cute, right? Like chubby babies, chubby grandmas, they're, they're all cute, don't get me wrong. But fat, unless you're a baby or an old grandma, can do a lot of damage. Not just like a little fat I'm talking about here. I'm talking about 
abdominal fat. That abdominal fat screaming at you. I'm not your baby. I am the carbs you ate. Well, that type of fat creates a lot of inflammation in your body. Excessively filled up fat cells end up releasing some of the fatty acids to your bloodstream along with inflammatory cytokines that find their way to your beloved pancreas and creating all sorts of glitches and mistakes and unresponsiveness to glucose in your blood. Same inflammation and fatty acids also travel different parts of the body and create a devastating damage. Think like a storm surge we get in Florida here, right? After a hurricane. And you probably see that scenes on TV, the flood damage as a result of that. Same thing. Same thing is happening when you accumulate fat as a result of habitual eating carbs excessively and embracing a sedentary life. Process is slow. By the time people get diabetes, they're kind of old and they just feel like the way they feel is due to diabetes or being old and they become less and less active because they don't feel good. As a result, that turns into a vicious cycle and things get out of control pretty quickly. Now, depending on the genetic predisposition, some people get diabetes really early in life. I have seen type 2 diabetes as young as 10 years old, and most people get in their 40s and 50s if they're lucky. Regardless, they still have plenty of life left to screw up. So we really need to act early and stop the process at the insulin resistance stage and pre-diabetes stage. How do you know you are insulin resistant? It is simple. You don't have to have fancy testing. If your triglyceride is over 150, your HDL is below 40 for men and less than 50 for women, you have a big belly, you have skin tags, you have velvety areas around your neck or armpits that are, you know, looking like a little soft, darker spots, more than likely you're insulin resistant. You don't have to have all of that, but if you have a few of them, you're insulin resistant. If your A1C is over 5.7 and fasting glucose over 100, you are already pre-diabetic. So act now. Don't let diabetes get the better of you. Take control and reverse the process. With a balanced diet, regular exercise, and some extra support, you can use our Sugar MD Diabetes Supplements. They are famous. People love it. You can look at the reviews. They are amazing. They will help you but they're not a replacement for lifestyle changes. So, you can enjoy your sweet life without worrying about your health as well, if you don't care about it. But you care, that's why you're here. But thank you very much, and good luck to all of you, and best of luck and best of success. I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far, and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it, and if you did, Watch this video right there, I think that will help you too.